Well, despite me playing video games for most of my life, I never thought I'd be talking about a game release, let alone a Harry Potter one on this channel. But the insanity of clown world we live in means I have to, and in fact means I'm gonna buy the game just to troll butter snowflakes crying about it some more. Now, obviously, this all stems from J.K. Rowling pointing out biological fact in an attempt to protect women's spaces from the type of insanity we've seen in Scotland recently. Yep, this in 2020 is how far humanity's actually fallen. People have got to argue biological reality with demented seals on the internet who will then attack a video game created by someone who won't bend the knee to their insanity. Here you see that the Times are reporting Hogwarts Legacy game faces boycott in J.K. Rowling trans row. Yeah, the game Hogwarts Legacy is apparently going to be boycotted because the creator of the franchise pissed off a few activist tosspots on the internet. This is obviously pathetic, but what the media are not reporting is that the boycott will be by a small minority of people, which I'm sure most never plan to play the bloody game in the first place. But something that will happen with this is that people who didn't plan to play it or even know it was coming out like me will now go and buy it just to wind up the idiots sat there because many people like me love to salt mine as you know. In fact, I might even livestream it, despite me knowing very little about Harry Potter or even caring about it at all. I'll do it just to take the piss even more. Now, I have been told that the books are good and have seen some of the films when the little one watched them, but I'm not a Harry Potter fan. Pissing off woke snowflakes is a hobby of mine though, so I don't mind doing that, but it should be said that this apparent boycott is obviously nonsense. The numbers of idiots boycotting it will be so small like I said it's almost laughable and most never plan to play it anyway. In fact, most of the minority who boycott it likely never even knew it was bloody coming now. Plus, the article itself actually states it's going to be a blockbuster game this year proving the headlines fake news or at least skirting around the fact this boycotts probably 10 or 20 people who might have played it moaning about it on the internet. The game is expected to sell really well and this will likely help it sell even more. In fact, game or movie owners should take no. Stirring up perpetually outraged tosspots on Twitter is a cash cow because the general public most likely to be interested in your products are the complete opposite to them. If you're pissing them off, you're likely doing something everyone else agrees with because we're all bloody sick of it. This is part of the reason why I don't mind paying for this game just to piss them off.